Your own weight pick. What was the suggestion? Get her network upgrade from the engineering department. Can I do that? Okay, it's letting me. Okay. Okay, where do I build the 
power distribution room. And up we go. First things first. Civil Defense Network seems to be working a charm. Should help keep everyone on their feet. How's it going? I don't know what you expect me to deal with so few people at my disposal. I require more staff. We're done. Hey. Okay, there we go. Uh, molecular. I gotta go talk to Sturgis. Hello. Hello. Come on. 
Oh, I'm already at the lobby. I was so confused for a moment. I think we can get out through here. Yep. Then we'll go talk to Sturges. hearing me? Yeah, what's up? We just finished work on the network upgrade. You know, connecting all the computers. This will all make my work a lot easier, so just wanted to say thanks. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, well, you did a good job. Or you told others to do a good job. Whatever. <laughs> Look, the point I want to make is I'm glad our computers are better. We can all get a lot more work done now. Oh, and we've set you up a personal terminal in your quarters, too. So, make sure you check it out. And, uh, if you could get a crew to fix up our generators, too, stabilize our power a little bit, that would be great. All right. See you later, fancy pants. All right, uh... Move. Mother... It's like, do you want me to build the bed or not? Not great, but here you go. All Junk, uh, component view. This swell sunny thing? This world of Botquam is very confusing. Hey. I'm busy. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. 
Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Hmm. Okay, so that gets routed through. What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? I got this from someone who should know what he's talking about. Can you build it or not? Well, yeah. I think so. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah. Sweet. I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Okay. I can do that. Farming is on it is on its work yet. <laughs> the beam emitter? Done. Hey, Sturgis. I was not. That's nice. Sturgis. Wakey, wakey. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yep. Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three <laughs> things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Okay. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Okay. Hi. I'm Gremlin, or that's what everybody calls me. The followers said I should get a more normal name, and Curtis suggested Gamma. But I've been Gremlin for so long that it's the name I think when I think of me in my head. And one of the guys at the fort was named Arcade. And I mean, how normal a name is. Sorry, I'm rambling. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. So, anyway, I'm happy to join your little town and ready to help out any way I can. If you have anything for me to do, just tell me. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, you are going to... Wait. Uh, I'll send you over to Red Rocket. Have fun.
Once we got everything in place, we'll have to hook it all up to the same power grid. Powered up. I got that. Because guess who can make a motherfucking nuclear reactor? Power, okay, got the generator. Make sure we've got enough power. Oh, we did.
There we go. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let me save quick. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. All right. Just get on the platform. I'll do the rest. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, okay. th this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh,. Just there for decoration. Yeah. Hey, scanning for the institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. Yeah, fuck. Oh boy. Okay. Was there a particular one I was supposed to put in here? what it was called. Mosh. Radio Des. Don't get twisted. Everyone in here is fucking dying. Hello. What? Hi. I wonder if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Okay, hello, father. I know father. The institute is under my guidance. Ah. Happily. Institutionalized. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Really? Welcome to the Institute. Hmm. This is the reality of the Institute. This place. Uh -huh. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground there's too much at stake here to risk it all as you've seen things above are unstable oh yes they're about to be unstable down I here as well talk to you about what we can do for everyone 
I want you to explain why you took my child. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. Yes. You are here for your son. Mm hmm. Knock, knock. Yeah. I know he may not be a baby anymore, but where's my goddamn kid? John? Also, I'm stealing everything that isn't nailed down in here. What? Oh! Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Really, you? Who are you? Sean, where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father, father, help me. There's someone here, help me! What the? Sean, please, calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! What the Father? fuck? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. The fuck? But disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. What? He's a prototype, you understand. Prototype? We're only just now beginning to uh, explore the effects of synth? emotional stimuli. Ah, uh, what? Please try and keep an uh huh. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Hi. Father? That's your name, your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as, as you mean to your son, to Sean. Okay. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute, closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. Uh huh. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Yes. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been. Re it's good to finally meet you after all this time. What? It's me. I am Sean. What the fuck? I am. Your son. What the fu- It's really you? After all this time? Yes. It's true. How? In the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. Yeah. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant but a 10 year old boy you believe that 10 years had passed yeah is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10 but 60 years that mother is the reality and I... here i am raised by the institute and now its leader what but why why take a child why take you? Yeah. Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Yes. Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being walking 
talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. I think I see where this is going. Then perhaps you already understand why it was necessary for the Institute to acquire me. No. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. What? Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Uncorrupted DNA? Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. Why an I infant, was exactly though? what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me. That's and why Kellogg called me the backup. And you... You've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes, I know you must have questions. Please, anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg, he worked for you? Kellogg, he was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. Like kidnapping what you? Kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath? But you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. Mm -hmm. He never failed the Institute. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yeah. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. No. What? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. Very. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. Mm. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. How do what I know you're can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. What? I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? No. I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because of the reputation. It's not a reputation. 
The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. For those you deem. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Yeah. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done. Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. I'll give you a, a chance. chance. to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. I had certainly hoped we could work together. But every man must make his own decisions. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Oh. Understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. You may have safe passage back to the Relay, where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I am sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. Mm -hmm. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the relay. There's a very, very high temptation. Should I? Is he a sin? I... Hmm. Not gonna lie, the temptation to just go on an absolute fucking rampage was very high. Well, it was kind of fucking insane. Can I ever come back here and... Alright, well... Oh, fuck. Hey, Slick. Just checking in, seeing how you're doing. Also, got a small request to make. If you're up for it. You see, I was perusing through an old file cabinet, and I came across some interesting documents. They talked about some old pre-war relay towers. 
Seems there's a whole bunch of them throughout the Commonwealth. Oh, shit. I tried to connect to a few of them, but looks like over the past two centuries, they've all gone offline. Not surprising, really. Anything I can do to help? It's a safe bet. They're all just sitting idle, waiting to be reactivated. So if you're willing, I'd like you to find and activate as many of these towers as you can. You see, each tower you bring back online, I can patch into the comma ray. Oh, nice. This will take some strain off of its processors and extend our broadcast range. Less strain on the array also frees up resources and workers that we can then assign elsewhere to improve the HQ. Okay. Sure. I got time to help out. Great. This isn't a priority or anything, but it will help us out a lot. So whenever you got the time. All right, that was all. I'll see you later. Okay, see flowing sea. Hmm. Where the fuck am I? What's inside the God damn. Damn, shit, it apparently shit has popped off. Brother, yes. Okay. Interesting. First things first. Let's get over to here. Give him the hollow tape. Sturges. Place is really coming together, huh? I can't take all the credit. Here's that hollow tape you gave me, full of institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. We need a way to bring the fight to them. Let's hope we got something we can use. Well, they sure aren't gonna fall for that teleport hijacker trick twice, even if it wasn't a smoking pile of scrap metal. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. Hey. Ooh. Nice. All right. Let's get a level up.
Travel to the castle. I'm pretty sure I needed to go there anyway. Hell yeah. I hope there aren't too many of them. Uh, <clears throat> Glad you made it in time, General. I guess we're about to find out if these new Minutemen really have what it takes. We've seen a lot of those Institute Pro things sniffing around. Looks like they're getting ready to try to take us out. Really? We've called in volunteers. We aren't short of people. Our defenses could use some beefing up before it's too late. Build defenses? Good thing I got Margaret. Not quite agitated. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, shit. Corsair. Oh. sweetie good to see you good to see you
Gotcha. Take out the fucking Corsair. Got him. God, I am so glad I got this weapon. Thank you, old Paul. Why did she hate that? Oh shit. <coughs> oh, and I just saw my health
Okay. What is the nuclear? Oh. You. I guess the Institute will think twice before tangling with the Minutemen again. Hey. I hear you're working on figuring out how to hit back at those rats. I hope you find a way and soon. I'd like another crack at them with the shoe on the other foot this time. I think Preston wanted to talk to you. Maybe he has some good news. Listen up, kiddies. The Institute thought they could push us around and we showed them different. Next time, we're gonna be taking the fight It's to time them. for us to strike back against the Institute. I have some good news for you. Sturgis found a way into the Institute. We can launch an attack whenever you say the word. Hey. I'll get the details from Sturgis while you get the Minutemen ready to attack. Yes, sir. We're the Minutemen, gold darn it. And that means we've always got to be ready for the next fight. Let's get back to it, people. All right. Let's go talk to Sturgis. Oh, hey, Frenchie. Hoping you stop by. I found you a way into the institute. That's great news. I was kind of hoping there'd be something worth all the time I spent cracking their encryption. <laughs> Turns out there was. One of the things in the data you stole was a plan of the whole institute complex, <laughs> including the older sections that used to be part of CIT. Turns out they're still using an old water pipe that runs out to the river, brings in cooling water to their reactor. Its entrance is underwater. And is blocked by a security grate. Also, the whole pipe is labeled high radiation danger, but there isn't any other way in that I can find. So it's this or nothing. Mm. Good work, Sturgis. Thanks, boss. I wish there was a better way, but if there is, it's not in this data. I did manage to pull the code to open the grate. So all you have to do is survive the trip. Now, as soon as you get in there, you need to access the main relay control and use this holotape to teleport everybody into the Institute. Okay. Will do. But if I'm doing that, first thing first.
There we go. Let's get set up there. And that's where I think we'll start the next stream. Up. You might want to stop attacking me. We are going to save here. And that is where I'm going to call the stream for today. Thank you all for being here. Uh, let me know what you thought about the uh, chat in the corner. Good idea, bad idea, whatever. But uh, goodbye, YouTube.